So what do you think of when you think of carnations? Does it bring it back to your proms? Um, it does for me. Um, the guy's always warm as boutonnieres. It's actually January's birthstone flower, um, which is interesting. But uh, it's a pretty flower and deserves recognition. Uh, the, you'll hear it be called uh, dianthus also, but carnation is its common name. It has um, outer petals, and we're going to do six. So I've given you in the set um, three larger ones um, that you'll cut twice. And then there's some fan ones. They're kind of like a three-quarter uh, petal. And then there's some little ones that make up the center, as you can see on some of these flowers here. Uh, you can make them all solid color with a little bit of shading. You can edge out the centers. I know in science class we did the white carnations dipped in the green water and watch it go up to its very hollow stem and color the, the flowers green like the florists do. So the first thing I'm going to do after die cutting is place the petals on my nonstick mat. And I'm going to shade these. These are the pink ones. Um, and I'm going to add a little bit of shading into that stem A area with the, the dark, darker pink. And you can really rub that in to get some color. And you'll do that on all your petals. I didn't do it. This is the center section there that makes up. And I didn't shade it, although you could do a little bit of tinting on the edges if you like. So once we've set, uh, shaded them, we're going to place them over here on the mat and we're going to shape them. I'm going to use my loop tool on the larger petals. I'll use the large loop and we'll just simply press down and pull backwards towards the stem. And we'll do that on the fan one as well. Here's one that's done. But again, I've just pressed back. Then I'm going to take my tweezers and I'm going to pinch the stem end. And with my index finger and thumb, just pinch around that. Now, these have like little roughly edges, so you can just use your tweezers to bend down those edges, like I've shown. And you can do that on all the petals. Now, I've got one here I've started. The calyx, there's one calyx, and we'll place that on the mat. And using that medium ball stylus, just press down and stir till it pops up. And then I'm going to start adding petals. So I've got a couple here that are of the large ones. If you place it over here on your nonstick mat, you can hold it in place and you're going to add petals going all the way around. And I'll, I'll do in between. I'll do three and then I'll do three more, like this one here. Now to add that center, we're going to take the piece. And I do like to soften it up a bit. So you can either use your medium ball stylus or your loop tool and just simply kind of press across that edge to soften up those petals a bit. Then you use a toothpick and we're going to paint that edge so it'll fold up on itself and catch with some glue. Now again, use your tweezers and catch. See the little tab on the end? If you take your tweezers and catch that tab, now roll inward all the way around there. And we're going to catch it on the other side and hold it a second. You can use your fingers or the tweezers and kind of bend it down a bit. And you see, then I've just taken it and dip, dip the end in and center it right into your flower. Then you're just going to build the rest of the petals around it. And I've got some smaller shaped ones here that you're going to shape on the mat um, and pinch. And then dip them into the glue and you can start by standing them up around the, the center. Now, if, if you've noticed on some of the carnations, I mean, they're really tight in the center. So I'll even do with my hands, I'll do folding method where I'm just really pinching it together tightly and dipping it. So I make that tight center of the, of the flower. Here's one I'm, I put on a, on a wreath here, and that one's complete with, with petals filling around as you want and filling in that center. You can't go wrong. It's a really roughly um, pretty flower. 
The other unique thing about the carnation are its leaves. They're thin and kind of spindly. And I would put maybe four or five leaves on every project. You're gonna just take your um, leaf tool and you're going to put it right on the, the petal. Now I'm shaping these with the, the right side up to me because they're so thin, I'm not gonna really be able to bend it back very much. So I'm just, I'm not gonna bend it twice like I normally do, but I am gonna bend it so you get a little bit of movement with that leaf. And the unique thing, I'm gonna put this back over on the nonstick mat. These leaves have a dustiness to them. And with one of my new colors, um, you can go ahead and put some of that lighter green. It almost looks like um, you know, lamb's ears or the, that's another plant that has this dusty look. But go ahead and paint the leaves so they have that, that kind of uh, shaded dustiness to them. And then go ahead and just, if you wanna add a little curve, you could put it down here on your mat and then use that medium ball stylus to just hit that little edge a little bit so it curves backwards on you. And then you're just gonna take on your project and again, you know, dip it into the glue and start adding your leaves underneath. They're just little light leaves that go around your flower and that completes your carnation.